you gotta you gotta earn it. You gotta work for it. Nobody's giving you anything. So, and we always say, you know, Dick used to say it all the time, and I continue to say it. September's for pretenders, and October's for contenders. So, second half of the season, we gotta go to work. Now, I know he was just back in town, was he not? Yes, he was. And yes, he was. How was he? How's he doing? Give us an update on no, Coach Angle. He's great. He's living the dream, and it's much in deserved. Florida. But uh, yeah, he's he's in Florida, and, and we, you know, he was up for two weeks to check out the Tigers. So he brought us some good luck, and then. I was able to spend the week uh, Saturday with him down in Ann Arbor, seeing, watching Debbie on Smith play this past weekend. So uh, he's good, man. He, you know, he's he's always there if you need a shoulder or, or an ear to listen to or bend. So you know, he he, he calls me more than my wife sometimes. But uh, God bless him and love him. He's been a great mentor. Always one of my favorite coaches, Dick Angle. Yeah, no and, doubt. And good to see Debbie on doing well for the Absolutely. for that team up north. Absolutely, that team yeah. up north. No well, doubt. Coach Menendez, good luck to you on the rest of the campaign. Thank you we much. wish you well. We thank you for coming here and bringing a couple of your guys. We're going to talk to them in a, in a second as well. Thanks for having us. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yep. yep. We'll be back with more from Kelly's Bar in Youngstown on Yards After Contact. High school football is in full swing in the Mahoning Valley, so come on down to Kelly's Bar at 1597 Mahoning Avenue in Youngstown, your best place to catch all the football action. On Wednesday, $5 burgers, $6 open face brisket sandwiches, and $2 well drinks, plus the best high school football podcast around, Yards After Contact with Gary Houston and Ryan Kelly, starting at 7 o'clock. On Thursday, open jam with Jeff Spencer from 8 to 11, and 35 cent bonus wings, $3 fireworks. On Friday, the official pre- and post-game stop for all high school football fans, fish dinners, burgers, and great happy hour specials. On Saturday, Kelly Smoker Saturdays, great Buckeye specials, 10 large flat screen TVs, and a great spot to enjoy some Saturday college football. On Sunday, get your NFL Sunday ticket, $5 for domestic buckets, 35 cent wings, and starting September 20th, every Tuesday night, MVP Entertainment will be here for team trivia and karaoke starting at 7 p.m. Kelly's Bar and Grill, 1597 Mahoning Avenue, Youngstown, Come for the food, stay for the fun. And welcome back to Kelly's Bar, Mahoney Avenue in Youngstown with Yards After Contact. I have three Howland Tigers here, the three and two Howland Tigers. Gentlemen, congratulations on your season so far. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being here with us today. I guess, uh, really, let's just start about how happy are you with how things are going? Tyreek, um, talk about your season real quick if you can. Um, you know, we're not, we're satisfied at the point, but we're not satisfied to where we want to be. You know, as a team, we set goals and we want to accomplish them, and we have a lot more we have to accomplish this season. It's fun right now beating Poland, especially Harvard, coming in on, on our high horse 4 0, and coming into our home field saying they're going to dominate us, and we, we played a very good game. How, how different are things between where you're at now and 1 and 2 going into Poland? Had to be different attitude, everything? A very different mentality. You know, whenever you can get a team together and you guys plan as a family, it's always a great chemistry, and that's right now we're playing as a family, and it's a great great team win and uh, chemistry on the field right now. Were you, was there any doubt in your guys' minds at that point? I know your season is only halfway over, but no, sir. Poland, was was it a must-win game? In our heads, yes. It was a, definitely a must-win game. And every uh, game from now on is a must-win in our heads. We'll, we'll talk about that because you had a couple big plays in that game. Yes, but sir. We'll get back. Victor, how, how do you feel about this season so far? Are you pretty good? I mean, three and two, is that, could, is that okay? Yeah, we started the season out 0 and 2. We started out a little rough, but then we changed in practice every day. We all worked together. We knew our, our talent we had, and we kept working harder and harder, and we won the past three games, and we want to keep that going. Yeah, well, like I said to him, was, was there any doubt, Poland or, or even Hubbard? I mean, they seemed to be maybe the favorite at 4 and 0. Did you guys kind of get that feeling at all? Uh, no, not really. Uh, we knew what our potential was, so we just kept working harder and harder in practice and uh, upset both teams that. So things are going pretty well for you guys. I mean, you feel yes, real good. Steven, your, your perception of the season so far. Um, I mean, like Tyree said, 3-2, uh, and two, we're not satisfied, but we're satisfied to the point of where we're at. Um, practice has been going well. Everything's been going good. Everyone's starting to do their job. Everyone's feeling themselves a little bit. So it's been going good. Now, what do you like? Do you like defense a little better or what? Yeah, I like hitting people. Yeah? I like just getting the hits. So. Uh, linebacker? Yes, sir. How's the defense playing now? Big win against uh, Hubbard last week? Yeah, it was a real big win. Uh, Were you expecting to beat them 20 to nothing? Be honest. Oh, yeah. Uh, I knew that we were going to pull out good. So. 
So it was still exciting though to do it. Yeah, it was very exciting. To, you know, when a team comes in on their high horse, thinking that they run the stuff, and you know, shut them up. So it felt good. You got East coming in. Huh? They played Fitch last week. Yes, you know, uh, Fitch kind of beat them pretty good at an afternoon game on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts as your for your next opponent? Uh, my thoughts on East. You know, they always have good athletes. Coach says they have enough athletes to beat us. So. Tariq, let me go back to you now. I was listening to the game on the radio, and I'm hearing all these long passes. Victor, you had one too, did you? Know? Yes, sir. You were kind of earlier in the game. Mine was the last one. Oh, you were the last one? Yeah, okay. He was you had, okay. What was going on there? Was it something you saw in their defense or what? Oh, yeah. We came to the sideline after we scored to be down by six, and we came and said, Coach, the middle of the field's open. And uh, Samari laid a pass out in the middle of the field, and I just ran for it. And after that, I tossed it and said, you're not catching me at this point. And it was too, too, too much in the game. We needed that, that touchdown, so we got down to the end zone. We scored. And after that, Victor followed it up. And uh, we got that victory after that. Was it a similar play, that the, the long passes? Or? Yeah, it was about the same play, almost a uh, different formation, kind of. We knew what they were lacking in. So we approached it again, one-on-one -on -one safety, and beat them down the sideline. Dean is an asset to you guys, huh? I mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. what has he brought to the team? Huh? Athletic. Versatile. Very, very versatile. In yeah. the past, the uh, teams really didn't worry about our quarterback being an athlete on the field. Uh, Not at all. They were worried about stopping these Stopping players. the run. Load, load the box. That's what they did. Load the box. But now, when you have a quarterback that can run, that can throw, you have, you're able to spread a defense. When you have a spread a defense with, you have these guys on the outside, and you can't man them up. And then you have you can run the ball at the same time, and if you key on me, then Samari can keep in a run. It, it keeps the defense on their on their heels. So he's been a great addition to what you guys are doing. Yes, sir. Really, uh, and against Hubbard now as well. Um, what was the secret in that game? I mean, just was it uh, uh, you know the scores lopsided? I mean, no, there was no secret. Uh, we knew our potential really. We went out there and played our game and dominated in every aspect of the game. Yes. Yeah. So Victor, let me, while you're talking, it seems like you've been around forever at, at <laughs> Allen. I mean, you've yeah. been talked about recruiting everything. How's your career going? I mean, what would you say uh, for yourself? I don't want to just single you out, but I'm going to. Uh, it's been going great. I've been I play with a lot of great you guys. Played quarterback, receiver, everything. Yeah. Safety linebacker, probably. I played a lot. I, I still do play a lot. I'm a great athlete for the team. Uh, surrounded by other great people, other great players too. Coaching staff's great and everything. So yeah. Are you a leader? I mean, do you assume that role on the field? Are you quiet? Uh, yeah. I'm, I I'm a great. You quiet? What, yeah, what do you I'm like? I'm a great you, leader, I think. You I talk think. smack on the field? I'm a talker. I like to pump people up on the yeah. field. I like, I just, I'm a great leader there. out there. Yeah. <laughs> you, I'm different. You talk to aspect. the other team as well or just your guy? I'll talk to anybody. If you start <laughs> yeah. talking to me, I'll talk to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> so you're having a good senior campaign, right? Right uh, at the sure. right time. All four yes, years are great. Yeah, yeah all sure. four years. Tyreek, how about yourself? Now, are you, did you transfer into at one point or no? Yeah, I came in my sophomore year from Austin Fitch. Okay. And uh, when I came in, they plugged me in at running back behind Corey Morris, and they let me split carries. And ever since then, it's been on to, on the races. And you know, as a running back, you have to keep the mentality: next play, next play, and work hard. You know, when you have weapons to help you on the outside and loosen up holes. And they gave me the opportunity. And when I stack the box, I give them opportunities, and we just play off each other. Now, were you a running back originally, or were you more on the defensive side of the ball? I've, I've always been a running back. Running back? Yes, sir. And when I came in, they switched me to defense. Also, let me play DB and corner and safety. So it's, it's fun. So how's it going for yourself this year, if you can kind of grade yourself as far as your production and what you're doing this year for your team? Um, right now, I'm just trying to help. Anything I can do, I'm, I'm going to do it, and just trying to help the team win. And this year, it's more explosion. Long runs and just trying to get taken to the house whenever you, you get a chance. And if you can put up more points than another team, they can't beat you. Steven, your role. I mean, what you play both sides of the ball as well? Yeah, I play both sides. play wide receiver and linebacker. Not your prototypical wide receiver, though, huh? Yeah, I'm more of the jump. I like the jump ball, so. OK. That's what they, they use that for you a lot? Or? Yeah, as you can see in Hubbard, uh, with 1.1 seconds to go, they just threw it up to me. And whenever it was called, I made my play. And it ended up with the touchdown before halftime. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Defensively, though, that's, is that your? Is that your Side of the ball? Yes, sir. You like to hit people. Yeah, That's Steven. I like to hit people, so. yeah. You guys are all leaders on the team then, huh? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are captains? Any, all uh, you guys? No? Us, us too are. Yeah. You too? But I feel yeah. like every senior on our team stepped up this year and played their role. So I feel like we all lead the team this year. But let me ask you, is this a, is this a special Howland team? Because we're used to maybe getting in the playoffs and 
maybe exiting in the first round, maybe the second round. What kind of aspirations do you guys have for this ball club, or is it too early to say? You're three and two. You got to make the playoffs. You're ranked fourth in your region right now. Uh, but what is what is your prognostication, honestly, if you will? Honestly, right now, like we're three and two, like you said, our playoffs started when we lost our first two games. Okay. So our goal is to win out this season. We want to be the best team out there right now. So our aspects are very high right now. As a team, we just want to get better and better every day, every week, and just work harder. It's not looking down the road, playoffs. We're, we're looking at the next one. It's always got to be the next one. But us. you do got some good teams that can help you get there yeah, with sir. some big yeah. victories. Yes, sir. And then week 10, is that a big game or not? It's always a big game. It's always a big game. Uh, it's, 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 it's a big game, but it's not the next. So. Not like next game. One game at a time. One game at a time, man. I understand. But I get to ask you about that, though. You know a little bit about Lynn Bowden at all, or what? You know about yeah, he's, you know he's about a great player. Great player. Great great player. Great. Respect to him. And everything Hats off to him. Hats off. Brings a lot to the table, you know. It's all yeah. similar to Samari. But you know, I know pass, run, anything. So he brings a lot to the table. And that's uh, what a lot of people are coming with. So you, is it fair to say you guys are excited about your season yeah. right now? Well, we can't yeah, wait, man. Excited. It's a lot ahead of you. A lot ahead of us. And we can't wait. Good. Well, real quick, after when the season's over, college aspirations, Tyreek, you first. Uh, going to play ball, man. You know, you had a dream since you're six years old. You want to go play college ball. And Coach always say, man, you do the work, you get paid. And that, my, my mindset right now is each game, take one game at a time and see what happens at the end of the season. And it's going to be it's going to be a great ride, man. Do you have any teams looking at you that you yes, know of yes, or sir. Ball, asking about uh, you? Ball State, okay. Temple, uh, schools like that, Akron. So that's that's nature, Miami, Miami of Ohio, contact me, and I'm just going to keep playing until I can impress them. Mac will be a good place yes, for you? I would love to go play in the Mac. Whatever you can get free education, especially to continue okay. your uh, college career, is, is going to be fine. Great. Victor, you're already scheduled to play in the Mac, right? Yes, sir. The Mac's great. Uh, you excited about your future? Yes, sir. U University of Toledo. What, what, what did you like about it? What, uh, what turned you on to Toledo? Really, uh, I had a great uh, contact with the coaching staff. Like They were great to me. Uh, I went down to visit, and I fell in love with the campus, really, and uh, it just sparked for me. Is that commitment in stone? Is that something? Are you at the Toledo Rocket, or are other teams still trying to recruit you? What, uh, there's other teams out there that's still trying to recruit me, but as of right now, I'm still a Toledo Rocket, and I'm proud to be here. Steven, what's your future like? Do you know? Uh, I'm with these two guys. I, I like the Mac. Uh, Ball State's interested OU, Akron, Miami, Ohio. I would like to see myself play in the Mac. That's great. You guys, well, wish the best of luck to all you, both Thank individually you. and as a team, Thank and the so rest much, of your man. season. And I want to thank you for coming down with Coach and appreciate you and wish you the best of luck for the rest of the year. Thank you so All right. much. Thank, thank you, you guys. Thank, thank you. And we're going to be back for more from Kelly's Bar with Yards After Contact. When you need good quality entertainment for your wedding, private party, or other event, give MVP Entertainment a call at 330-942-2424. We provide quality sound and lighting at great prices. If you'd like to see what we do, check us out at Kelly's Bar at 1597 Mahoning Avenue, on Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock, or Quaker Steak and Lube in Boardman on Route 224 on Thursdays at 8 o'clock. That's MVP Entertainment, 330-942-2424. And welcome back to Kelly's Bar on Mahoney Avenue in Youngstown, Ohio, for Yards After Contact. And my guest is Coach Steve Arnold from the Warren Harding Raiders. Let me see, the, the number one ranked in their region in computer points. Number two in the AP poll in Division Two. Things are going good for Warren Harding, Coach, are they not? Right now they are, Gary. Um, we, you know, we have to continue to do what we've been doing, and that's playing as a unit, playing as a team, and continue to play hard and um, to be coachable and all the things that you need to do to be 5-0 and at this point. And it, it, it's got to be exciting to come off a great win over Youngstown Urson. The, the good thing about it, Coach, it wasn't an easy victory for you. You had to earn it pretty much, and, and you did what you needed to do, and you're 5-0, and, oh, and, and it hasn't been that way for a while, has it? No, it hasn't. I, I think the last time, um, you know, Warren Harding has been 5-0, I think they said 2003, 4, something like Maybe that. Maybe a state championship. Could have been. Appearance. I don't know, but it was, it was back there. Okay. Um, but, we, I mean, we knew coming in that, this, this game was going to be difficult going against Urson. Coach Kemp does a great job. Uh, they're physical. They run the football. They play good, sound defense. And, um, you know, we, we beat a good football team. And it wasn't a game where it was 
a blowout or anything of that nature. So we had to maintain composure because everything, even though the final score was, you know, 34-19, and you look at the final score, it says, man, you know. It was a one-touchdown game yeah, in the fourth right, quarter. Yeah, right, right. So, uh, you know, we had to fight through some adverse situations and, and come together, and um, and that's why you have good senior leadership here That in, in games like this and in games, that, you know, when you're down 21-7, at Maslin, and you're down 14 points twice, you know, having um, senior leadership really helps. Boy, I got to ask you, Coach, you started the game off with a 65-yard bomb from from Lynn Bowden at, at the quarterback position. I assume that was scripted, that was going to happen from the beginning. It was. Uh, uh, did we, you see something? Was that just a play that you worked yeah. on, or what, what happened? Well, the previous Saturday, as we were watching film, as we were preparing for Ursuline, um, we thought that we could dictate what they would be doing coverage-wise. And every day, and you can talk to Lynn and Marlon, who's here, we ran that play every day as a first play. So we knew Monday that's what we were going to open the game with. And every day in practice, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we opened up. And even our walkthrough on Friday said, this is what we're going to do. And when we, when we lined up, when we came up, when we broke the huddle and we were in our formation, and they didn't have a high safety. We kind of looked at each other. This is okay. We got what we wanted. Now let's just execute the play. And we were, we were able to do that. And, and you know, it, it starts with the good snap, the, the, the protection by the line. Lynn throws a good ball to Jalen. Beautiful pass to Beautiful Jalen ball. Hooks. And, and Jalen ran the right route, and then he had to catch the ball. So, you know, it took 11 guys to um, for us to have some success on that play. Now, what's it like for you? You, you see the defense? You're, I mean, you're you're where, right where you want to be, right, oh, Coach? We, we were, I mean, we were kind of like smiling at one another when we when we broke the huddle, and then he says, okay. Me and Coach Croyce, our offensive coordinator, and Coach Stella, who coaches our receivers, he says, okay. Got what we wanted on the headset. Yeah, yeah. Just well, Coach Stella and and, and, and uh, Coach Coitz on the field with me. Coach Kagey, our quarterbacks coach, uh -huh. and Tim McGlynn. Okay. Uh, they're up uh, in the box, and Coach Campbell, our other offensive line coach, is on the field. So we kind of looked at each other, and Coach Kagey and Coach McGlynn up in the box and say, "Hey, we got it, we got it, we got it." And I'm just waiting, and I just see the ball going and touchdown. So it was good to jump on them early like that. Yeah. But to their credit, they fought back and they didn't give up. Yeah, to their credit, they went down the field, didn't score though. Yeah, they didn't score. That all was, the way 60, 70 yards and fumbled the ball. Fumbled the ball. I mean, that's, you know, I saw Coach Kemp's comments in the paper, well, you can't turn the ball over. And, um, you know, obviously that helped us by, by, by them fumbling. But Cause then they come right back and score again. They come right back. But, but Gary, the thing is, you I know every coach in the area talks about it. You know, turnovers will kill you. You have to be able to take care of the football. And, and you know, we had a few turnovers. Um, with the one pick, Lynn, uh, kind of underthrew Marlin in the end zone, which we could have had a score. Tristan Balderman, yeah, great, great catch. play. Went up and got uh, it. Big safety, you know, yeah. made, a, made a play. And then the other interception, one ball, went off Javar, went off Javar King's hands, a tip ball, and intercepted. But for the most part, we, we've been able to take care of the football. And that's you know that's attributed to our five and all record thus far. Now in your preseason, before things got started, that you know you kind of maybe project your campaign. Did you even think about being five and zero at the halfway point of this season? Honestly. Well, I'm mean, gonna be honest with you, Gary. I mean, we see it, it may sound corny to to people, but you didn't look that far. We didn't look that far, and we talked about the process of believing in our process. And the process is, man, just trying to go get better every day and taking the approach of, you know, let's go and, and have a good scrimmage against um, um, Solon. Solon, yeah. Yeah. And then um, I think, uh, what was our other scrimmage? I, I can't remember right. Oh, uh, Parma Padua. Okay. And then was today Shaw, and Cleveland Heights, and Maslin, and Fitch, and Ursuline, and now Lakeside. So if we take care of and believe in our process of getting better and take care of that opponent, not looking ahead to anyone, that's why we're 5-0. and We didn't look past anyone because, you, you know, you can't be 5-0 and unless you're 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. So, you know, we, we got it. And we have to continue with that frame of mind um, and, and not look past any opponent and just continue to get better. That's a nice resume of teams oh, that you man. beat. And, and I'll give you 6-0. and You won't go there, but I will. I won't. Who's after? Who's after Lakeside? Uh, we go to Boardman. At Boardman, there we go. And okay. Then we're home to Mooney, home to E, 
east, home to Holland. Nice little schedule there. Uh, I mean, uh, I'll give you six and zero, Coach. Okay, you you said All right, it, I did. I'm just saying. I, you said it, I did. Right? Borman's gonna be a tough game. Borman's gonna be a tough game. That way, on the road. yeah, on the, on the road. road. And then we, you know, we come home to Mooney, which you know Mooney always gives us problems. And, and they're playing well. They're playing they well. have a bye week. They probably hate a bye week right well, now. They, yeah, they have a bye week, so um, they probably you know knowing Coach Coach over there, he, you know. They're probably looking at film on us already. 